This House Tour is presented by the completely reborn Hyundai Santa Fe. Wa changes everything. This is an arts and crafts style of home. And so we wanted to bring a return to craftsmanship into this home. So every detail from the flooring to the trim work to all of the architectural features interior to the home flow from that exterior arts and crafts style. The starting point and the focal point of the exterior is in the Pennsylvania Fieldstone. And you sort of get lucky with whatever batch of stone is being quarried at any one time. And this particular coloration in the stone is just so gorgeous. It brings in so many of those beautiful, colorful hues. We wanted that strong stone foundation, and then we mixed in other natural materials like our cedar shake, which adds so much texture. And that's where the clients got to have their green because they wanted green on the exterior of the home. And then the architect, John Williams, makes it so easy. He puts in his signature trim details. So you're seeing columns and brackets and moldings that are all architecturally designed, scaled, proportioned, but they just flow so beautifully to bring it all together. You open the front door and you're in this kind of compressed space. There's a serviceable sized foyer where you can hang your coat, where you can use powder room but then the room expands. It opens immediately into this gorgeous, light-filled, great room. And this is the heart of the home. This is the reason why the homeowners wanted the space was this gathering space for them to be with their family. Something really comfortable, livable. Your eye line right when you walk in the house is going right outside again. And this is one of those amazing elements of the house that extends the indoor living space truly outside into this covered porch. Such a clever design with a flat roof so that we can still bring the light in over top. The other amazing element of the space is the retractable screens. So that allows you to put the screen down on the outside perimeter of the porch and leave our double sliding doors wide open. So you can move indoor outdoor if you're going out to the barbecue, if you're going out to enjoy the masonry fireplace outside, it flows from the living space. We wanted to bring light into this space, but in a really soft way. And the architects created these raised dormers on the front and rear of the house, raised the ceiling in this center section, and just flooded this area with light. The drawback of that is these really high ceilings can get cold and you can get lost in them. We didn't want that to happen, so we wanted to warm up and almost lower the ceiling visually. So we applied this tongue and groove pine paneling to the ceiling, but we stained it to hopefully look like the oak flooring. So it was one of those elements that we just loved when we saw it. And in fact, once the homeowner saw the ceiling in here, he agreed that we needed to add it into the kitchen ceiling as well. The kitchen is definitely one of my favorite elements of the space. And that's a custom stainless steel hood made by Hayes Woodworking to fit the space. And this is mounted on top of probably one of my other favorite elements, which is the backsplash and the material that we used on the countertops. So that's a quartzite, it's a natural stone, but it is super durable. As soon as the client said, okay, let's do this, we ended up applying it everywhere. <laughs> so it goes up the backsplash, we used it as a sill for the bumped out kitchen window that was important for the homeowner. She wanted somewhere to grow herbs, to have some plants. But as you can see, we have the mixing of the metals. So we have stainless steel hood. We brought stainless into the faucets in the kitchen. And we even brought a little bit of black in with the pendants and a little bit of that satin brass. But somehow all of that works together and it just creates such an interesting, but at the same time, quietly beautiful kitchen. What was a bit unique about the request for this home is they absolutely did not want to have a formal dining room. But again, in keeping this home a really manageable size for them, they wanted that dining room to be part of this great room. So when they're eating, when they're cooking, you can all be together. And so we just used this flow from the kitchen island and repeated that shape here in an elongated dining space. And it works and then repeats into the great room space. The two main focal points of the great room are the fireplace as well as the range in the kitchen. So for the fireplace, we knew it had to be a strong element. So we brought in a cast stone fireplace that wasn't too fussy, that kept that traditional feel, but kept it clean. 
To juxtapose that a little bit, we incorporated some very simple, a little more modern feeling floating shelves that were asymmetrical. And this also helped balance the focal point that we have here with these storage shelves with the light white finish on the cabinet tree below, and then the entry to the bedroom suites that is off to the right. So it was creating a balance within that central access off of the garage, we wanted to have a mudroom space where you could come in with your muddy boots and not have to worry. So we pulled some natural material of Brazilian slate in that's sealed. So it's super easy to care for a little spot where you could sit, pull your boots on, tons of storage for coats. We incorporated pull out shoe storage that was two or three pairs deep. And this has allowed a lot of those extra overflow shoes to get tucked out of sight. I think it's worked pretty well <laughs> for the clients. Off of the mudroom, there is a cute little laundry room. We have another door on that. We have sound bat insulation so that you can be running that laundry even when you're in cooking or entertaining. And I can't resist making a laundry room beautiful because having three kids now, I know how much time you spend in a laundry room. <laughs> so we added a beautiful marble backsplash and some gorgeous graphite appliances, which just pull the space together off the kitchen, but still connected to the space where everyone's gathering. We've used this little architectural detail, this octagonal room, and that's a little office for the homeowner right now, but it just allows another little private space that if you do have lots of stuff going on, you can sneak out into your den. This house very intentionally is a bungalow style of house, so all one floor living, but that means the bedroom wings are also adjacent to the living space. They still wanted the space to feel open and connected. So we incorporated this concealed door detail so that when those doors are open, they blend almost as a beautiful paneled archway. But we can pull those doors closed for some extra privacy if needed. Going into the principal suite, we kept all of the amenities that they were looking for and added a beautiful walk-in closet. We've had a fully appointed bathroom with double sinks storage. One of my pet peeves in a bathroom to walk into a gorgeous bathroom and see the cord plugged in with their electric toothbrushes. So we concealed a little door, added a receptacle inside and hid that little toothbrush away and out of sight. There's a steam shower and really key to a lot of the bathrooms that we're doing now, there's zero threshold. So you roll in, this is great for accessibility down the road. And then there's a beautiful light-filled bedroom that was very intentionally placed at that spot in the home to bring in beautiful light. So we have this very unique octagonal shape that we've pulled not only into the ground floor office space, but it also created this octagonal foundation in the basement, which we really couldn't resist detailing. The homeowners do drink wine, so we suggested a wine cellar and it's added into that existing architectural detail. It's a surprising gem in the lower level of the home. I am so fortunate to be able to work in this business. My grandfather was a builder. My father is the builder of the project and he's been doing this for over 40 years. I joined him about 20 years ago and I like to say that my contribution to what we do is on the interiors and the design of the project and blending the architecture, the building science, but also making it beautiful at the end. We're able to bring that to our homeowners and create for them a truly customized home that they can live in and hopefully maybe pass down.